Hey guys, I just wanted to share this really exciting book box with you guys. I was running around the house yesterday getting some things done and it was probably, I don't even know how long it was sitting there, but my husband kind of nonchalantly was just like, oh hey, by the way, you got a box. So I was thinking he bought something and I was like, oh, you're really sweet, you know. I go check the front porch, it's not there. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear any, you know, doorbell. I didn't hear somebody knock, so I didn't know what was happening. Um, he had apparently picked it up. I don't know when he did that. He's very sneaky, apparently, and set the box on our couch and was waiting for me to come across it as I cleaned. I was down, I guess, the somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know how I didn't see this, but I was so excited, and it is actually from Kelly and Hall, so I'm very excited to see what they sent. So I'm going to open it, dive in, and give you guys a quick little view of what's in there. So, tricky husband, don't do that to me again. I was way too excited. It was kind of fun, actually, so maybe you can. But anyways, we're going to dive into this. All right, so I'm going to set this down, actually. Okay. So first thing is... This little note says, Hi Jesse, enclosed you will find a few books that I really think you will enjoy. World War II, Pearl Harbor, Romance, Fantasy, we have got you covered. I'm also including a little trinket to show our appreciation for the work that you do covering books. I'm sure you'll be able to put this bookmark to good use. Please let me know if you have any questions. All the best, Jocelyn. And they also now have an Instagram, so I'm so excited to follow you guys. I love a little handwritten note, and this is just the perfect way to start off this box. Again, like she said, a really cute little bookmark, a little froggy guy, so adorable. And then I'm going to start diving in. It looks like there's quite a few books. I was not expecting this at all. I am just over the moon right now, you guys. So the first one we have here is by Lori Lanson's The Mountain Story. And it actually looks like it was a people book of the week, a moving portrait of the human spirit as fierce, lovely, and indomitable as nature itself. So I'm going to give you guys a little... Synopsis here. Nola has gone up the mountain to commemorate her wedding anniversary. Bridget is training for a triathlon. Vaughn is working out her teenage rebellion at 8,000 feet. Since reeling from the accident that robbed him of his best friend, Wolf truly is the only experienced hiker among them. But he has come to the cliffs on his 18th birthday without supplies because he plans to take his own life. When a series of missteps strands him in the wilderness, these four broken souls soon realize that their only defense against the brutality of nature is one another. Nola, Bridget, Vaughn, and Wolf find themselves faced with an impossible question. How much will they sacrifice for a stranger? The Mountain Story is a fast-paced, suspenseful adventure and a tribute to the resilience of the human spirit. This sounds so fantastic, and I cannot wait to get into this. I think even my husband will enjoy this. I just can't wait. This one already has me so excited, so let's see what else they have inside, because if this is the start of it, it can only get better, and I am so thankful. Thank you so much to Kelly and Hall. I am just, like I said, so excited and just so thankful for you guys for sending this awesome box my way. All right, so the next book in this box is Garden of Her Heart, Hearts of the War, book one by Shauna Hatfield. And this one also sounds pretty great. It's got a little romance. It's about World War II. It's about Pearl Harbor. So this just has all the elements that I think I'm really going to enjoy. And it says, The moment the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, life shifted for Miko Nishimura. Desperate to reach the Portland Assembly Center for Japanese Americans, she is kicked off the bus miles from town. Every tick of the clock pushes her closer to becoming a fugitive in the land of her birth. Exhausted, she stumbles to her grandparents' abandoned farm, only to find a dying soldier sprawled across the step. Unable to leave him, she forsakes all else to keep him alive. After crashing his plane in the Battle of the Atlantic, the doctors condemn Captain Rock Leroux to die. Determined to meet his maker beneath a blue sky at his family home, he sneaks out of the hospital. Weary and half out of his mind, he makes it as far as a protestan he remembers from his youth. Rather than surrender to death, Rock fights a battle of the heart as he falls in love with the beautiful Japanese woman who saves his life. I cannot wait. This sounds so perfect, and I am really excited. You guys, this is going to be so cute. I already know it. 
I am calling out two of my Instagram friends for sure. One is Laura LB Books and to Mimi of Mimi Granger on Instagram. You guys definitely think this might be right up your alley. So I'm going to link to them. So if you don't follow them already, you definitely should. And I'm going to be sending little messages your way too because I think this would be an awesome read for you guys as well. All right, next up is The Feet Say Run by Daniel Blum. This here. And it says, in his waning years, Hans Jaeger finds himself stranded on a desert island, the last island not mapped by modern GPS, with a small band of survivors. What is my particular crime, he asks. Why have I been chosen for this fate? And so he begins the chronicle of his long life. He tells the tale of his life in Nazi Germany, the Jewish girl he loved, and his years fighting with the Wehrmacht. His war experiences are vividly individual, a struggle for survival in the most harrowing of circumstances, and yet also the broader story of the cruelty and absurdity of the Nazi regime, the madness of humanity, and of war itself. In the end, Han's story is the story of all the comedy, tragedy, and horror of the modern world. Sounds pretty interesting as well. Again, a nice little World War II touch there. We've got two more in here. The next one up is Riven. Says, even the best dreams can tear you apart. It is by Jane Alvey Harris. This just looks pretty intriguing already. And it looks like there is even a little review from James Dashner, the author of the Maze Runner series. And it's a pretty raving review. So that's exciting. And let's see, Riven looks like it is about a 17 year old girl named Emily and her dad is in prison for securities fraud and her mom is strung out on pain meds, leaving Emily to parent herself and her younger brothers and sister. She's got things mostly under control until a couple weeks before dad's release when voices start whispering in her head and Gabe, the hot lifeguard at the pool, notices the strange bands engraved on her arm, the one that she is trying so desperately to hide. Stress, insomnia, and her wounded egos drive Emily to self-medicate, which has to be why dreams of the first realm have resurfaced, why they've become so threatening, why they're commandeering her conscience even when she's awake. It has to be why the fairy tale character she created as a little girl insists they need her help. Triggered by the return of her childhood abuser and unable to cope with reality, Emily slips completely inside her elaborate fantasy world. She's powerful in the first realm, maybe even more than her attacker. It would be so easy to stay there, to lose herself in enchantment, to lose herself in love. But something sinister lurks in the forest's shadows. Emily soon discovers her demons have followed her inside her fairy tale. They're haunting her. With the help of the Fae, she frantically searches for the weapons she needs to defeat her greatest fears and escape back to reality, before the man who tortured her can prey on her younger brothers and sister, too. Time is running out. So fantastic. Last but not least is a book called Touched, A Crest of Fate. And it is by Elisa S. Amore. This says, after vampires and werewolves, after wizards and fallen angels, a new breed of angels is here to usher you into the dark world, an ancient, deadly, inescapable race. No one can see them. They're shadows of destiny. They're knights of death. They're the subterraneans, and they're here to claim our lives. Commanded by a mysterious congregation called the Masala, the angels of death ensure that each man's destiny takes its due course on earth. But what happens when love intervenes? Can an angel of death deny his own nature and challenge destiny? Can love rebel against fate? When Gemma's eyes first meet the dark, piercing gaze of Evan James, an ominous shadow creeps into her life, ultimately leading her to face her destiny. She doesn't realize that Evan is one of Death's soldiers and that Death is summoning her. Her time is up. Gemma must die, and Evan has been sent to kill her. But what if she's the only one who can truly see him? Oh, this sounds amazing and I can't wait to get into it. I just am blown away by this collection of books. Here they all are. Again, thank you so, so much to Kelly and Hall for sending these my way and especially to Jocelyn for that handwritten note and the lovely package. It was such a surprise and I am just so thankful to be working with you guys on this. So I will definitely be posting reviews of all of these on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, links are below, down there in the description. So definitely follow along, and I will also be posting full reviews when I get to these as well. So definitely subscribe to this channel as well. 
Kelly and Hall's information is below in case you want to check them out and follow along for more great authors. And again, if you are interested in reading any of these, I will post the links to the books to where you can purchase your very own copy. And hopefully we can do a buddy read. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I am just over the moon and blown away and can't wait to dive into it. So yes, I am so excited about all of this. I just can't even explain how excited I am. So I'm going to let you guys go. I am going to finish up one of my reads so I can get to one of these because they all sound so darn good. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I am taking a few days break to read and enjoy family time and just, you know, enjoy life. So I will see you guys again very soon. Enjoy your holidays and I will see you back next week. Bye.